You're all invited to my birthday party. Thank you guys so much for coming to celebrate with me. In this video, I'm going to show you a few DIY party decor projects as well as a couple of yummy treats. Also, I was going to have this huge lollipop balloon be in the video with me, but on the way home from the store, I popped it on a tree branch. I'm really glad that I get to spend my birthday with you. Now, without further ado, let's party! <laughs> oh my gosh. I asked you guys for DIY party ideas and a ton of people said photo booth. I don't have an entire wall in my house that I can decorate for this, so I got a trifold display board and I painted it with chalkboard paint. All you have to do is follow the directions on the bottle. Once it dries, you can write on it with chalk or chalkboard markers, and it is totally portable. You can put it on your table or on a counter. And it's reusable, so you can take it everywhere you go. Well, maybe not everywhere, but to lots of parties. Next is some adorable decor that doubles as a treat container. I'm using clay pots and saucers, some acrylic paint, sponge brushes, and some wooden shapes. Once you've applied a couple coats of paint and let that dry, it's time to attach the pieces together to form a cute gumball machine. The glue will hold much better if it's applied to non-painted surfaces, so if you've already painted the entire piece, you can use some sandpaper to just get a little bit off. And for embellishments, I went to the hardware store to get a cap nut and a wing nut, and I also applied a duct tape shape to just spice it up a little bit. And don't glue on the lid or people won't be able to eat the treats that are inside. Decor item number three, we have paper bows. For this, you'll want to print out a template, trace one, or just do it freehand. I'll put the link to the template that I found in the description box of this video. Once you have all your shapes on a piece of cardstock, cut them out. Then set them on the back of a sheet of pretty scrap of paper, trace, and cut those out. First, you'll want to glue the biggest part of your bow. Just bring both ends to the middle and then use a paper clip to hold it together while it dries. Attach the two tail pieces together at the top. And then take the strip and wrap that around the center of the bow. Make sure that the end is on the back so you don't see it. garland by attaching your bows to a long piece of string with either hot glue or some tape.
Now for some decor that you can use as a centerpiece or you can hang them from the ceiling and put them everywhere. They'll look like big fluffy colorful clouds or flowers or pom-poms, whatever. You'll take 10 pieces of tissue paper. You want them to be full and fluffy. So lay these all on top of one another and then you're just going to accordion fold the entire stack. Basically just fold an inch to two inches every single time and you're going to flip it over, fold, flip it over, fold, and keep repeating that. It's a very basic technique, but it will make something really cool. Once you've folded all those sheets and you have a really long skinny piece, you're going to just take that and fold the ends to meet. and. At the middle mark you'll have a crease and you're going to just put something around that such as a twist tie, a zip tie, even yarn. Then you can round the ends with a pair of scissors and once that's done you're going to start opening it up really really super super carefully so you don't rip any of the paper. You're going to just take one layer at a time and you'll try to pull it up at each crease so it keeps its shape, but as long as you just open it up carefully, you'll have a big poof when you're done. By the way, that purple, yellow, and pink one was a test and I ripped a sheet and it only has eight sheets so that's why it's not as poofy as the blue one. Treat time! For the first one, I cut up some fresh strawberries and raspberries. Of course, wash them first. I'm also going to use granola, black chia seeds, and semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use any mix-ins that you want. And then I'm going to use Greek yogurt, which is my favorite and I like the vanilla kind. And I'm also using a blended mixed berry flavor for color. Take a baking sheet and put parchment paper inside. And then you're just going to drop the yogurt in that and you can kind of swirl it around like I am. And then I thought it needed to be even more colorful so I took the remaining Greek yogurt in my container and I just turned it blue with some food coloring. Pop that in the freezer and I would probably let it sit overnight and once it's done you're going to break it apart and you'll have some beautiful, colorful, tasty yogurt bark. This final DIY is incredibly simple, but it will make a great addition to your party. I'm taking some white chocolate chips and colored candy wafers, and I'm going to melt them together and swirl them a little bit. Then I'm taking this bow mold, which is fitting for my party, and I am just going to fill that with the melted chocolate, and I'm going to do pink ones as well. Then let it harden, cover it up with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge and when it's ready to serve just take them out and pop them onto plates or little containers and your guests will be like, oh my gosh, I get to eat a bow chocolate today and they probably won't say that. Now it's time to party! All I want for my birthday from you guys is to get this video to 10,000 likes so pretty please help me out with that and I hope that these ideas were really helpful to you and that you'll be able to use them for parties and get togethers in the future. I'm so glad that you guys came to my party. I hope you had a good time. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button wherever it is. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. I love you and see you soon. Bye! You're all invited to my birthday party today with the balloons that are moving. Woo!